Of course it is. In the interest of being as transparent as possible, this is not my first time playing this game. I actually intended this game to be an LP that I would do in January of last year, but I played it for about an hour, I think. Something like that. I don't know the exact length of time I dedicated to it, but it was something along those lines. Actually, it may not, it may not, it honestly, it honestly may not have even been, it, it, I don't, it wasn't for very long. In, considering how long this game is, in actuality, it was probably less than half a percentage of this game is how much I played of it. I didn't get past chapter one. I don't even think I got out of the initial area where they, where they teach you the, how the combat works. Because when I got to the combat section, I immediately realized, hmm, this doesn't seem like a type of gameplay that I would enjoy. Not to say there's anything particularly wrong with it, but it certainly doesn't seem like something that I would get any level of fun out of actually playing. And so I discarded it immediately and decided it just was this there there's no situ there was no timeline in which me playing this game ends well and i thought that'd be the end of it it was not in fact the end of it because i was then in upon sharing this story with some of my friends some of whom for some of whom this game is incredibly close to their hearts they have emphatically encouraged me to continue to try playing this game until at least the end of chapter 2 was the instructions I was given. Try to go until the end of chapter 2, and if you still don't like it, then okay. So we're going to give it another shot. We are going to give it another try, and see if it goes any better this time around. I don't... I, I don't know. I... This could be a horrible mistake, because the, the entire reason why I have been reluctant to try playing this game is because... If I didn't like it initially, I somehow doubt that I will continue, that I that at some point I'd magically grow to like it. However, that's what I thought about Ocarina of Time 3D. In the first couple episodes, I really wasn't driving with the gameplay that much. I didn't hate it. I, I liked it more than Skyward Sword, but it still wasn't... I, it was the thing, after I recorded the first episode, I was like, uh, this might be a... This might have been a mistake. But then I... Continue to give, give give the game a chance, and once I started really getting into the main gameplay loop and the temples started to reveal themselves, I was like, oh, you know what? I actually really, really love this. So, maybe the same thing will happen here. I don't know. But there's only one way to find out, so let's just start a new game. If you're at all worried about me remembering any story spoilers, I promise you, I remember nothing. <laughs> like, actually not. Well, I guess... I have like vague ideas in my head of what happens in the beginning of the game, but I anything I would remember is completely unsubstantial, or if it is substantial, it's revealed immediately. Because again, didn't make it very far. Long ago. The world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. That's not my capture card, by the way. The, the Switch appears to be struggling to handle this cutscene. It's freezing every, every once in a while. Like there, for, for example. were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world 
This vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionics is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Situational awareness 1000. And Soldier 78 over here. They're advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. One of you dies, I think. I don't remember who, but someone here dies very horribly because they're stupid. The last line of defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here, or we can stay and fight. What? Ah! We may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this. The future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Okay, uh, Kingdom Hearts You're call that wants its keyblade back. Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm I, okay, I, I read those subtitles and my brain minced those words together very differently in my head. Known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Oi, you two. We've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> the enemy's second wave. Is what is balls? What are you? What are you looking at? It's oh, it's probably his Wolverine claws. That's what makes the most sense. We'll give them a warm Hans welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah. Huh. What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. All right, but it's your funeral. Gunban is a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape. Uh huh. Is that what you think? Uh oh, that sounds like a, a fade to. Oh no, it's a fade to gameplay transition. Plus L or R to target a monster. Target enemy to display the battle palette. It's like fight icon and press A to start the battle. All right. I did it. Right, the battle has begun. Uh, they attack automatically, I think. Yeah, approach target to auto attack. If you're too far from monster, you can't attack it. That's one thing I remember is that they don't actually, you don't push any buttons to attack. You just, if you're near them, they'll, the, the characters will attack for you. Select arts with the things and press A to confirm. You cannot use an art in the following circumstances. You're out of range for this art or the conditions for using this art aren't met. Uh, Mondo Enchant, power up party members, deal damage to an enemy. From what I remember, this doesn't actually change anything, but we'll, I'll, I'll play along, pretend that it actually it does. I'm, I'm pretty sure the outcome of this battle is fixed, but who knows. Yeah, it's, there's no manual, there's, there's no man, that, that's what, I, I remember this initial little prologue thing kind of throw me for a loop here, because I was, I'm used to having to manually attack the enemies, but it wasn't actually working, and that's because the game was, Attacking for me, so every time, every time I hit the the attack button, it was, it, it was out of sync with when the character was actually swinging his keyblade, or whatever he called it. So, I was my I was disconnected from from the battle, but now that I know how it works, that was not quite as intense. Wait, we're still playing? Why are we still playing? Are there? Oh, there's oh, that's because there's more. That would be why. That'd be why we're still playing. It's because there's more. All right, how about we uh, how about we uh, do a little bit of this? Yes. Well that, well that worked. That worked splendidly. 
Still playing. Huh? Oh my god, they just keep coming. They just, every time I think, every time I think, hey, we can take a break. We've won the battle. Guess what? Another, oh, a deadly chainsaw, huh? Miss, I think. I don't think you can die here. I'm, not that I would know anything about it, but I feel like this being a prologue and all the outcome of this is already fixed. So I don't think I'm in danger of screwing this up, but doesn't mean I'm going to get careless about it. All right, let's use another one of these. It did, it worked wonders last time and it worked wonders again. Uh, the camera controls, I can, I, I can tell I've played this game before because the camera controls have already been inverted, horizontally anyway. Vertically, it's not inverted, but horizontally it is inverted, which is the telltale sign of me having messed with the camera controls in a video game. You gotta be kidding! It's their main force. Looks like the mech on a hell bent on taking us out. Oh really? What was your first clue? Was it the deadly chainsaw? Let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this. I'm ready. How about you? I ain't going down that easily. Tombat, are you alright? Oh, what does it look like? I'm still good to go. <laughs> Guess even a hero's gotta reach his limit eventually. <sighs> Monka, what are you doing? That way is. Sorry, brothers. Hate to drop this on you, but it's the Monado they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here! Munka, you dirty! Now, don't worry. I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys! Wait! Huh? Ah! Oh. If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Oh, now what the Looks hell is like that? This is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. What hell spawn is that? Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumbbag, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots. I'll just come and get the banana when everything's quiet down a bit. That thing's gonna be mine! <laughs> That's what we in the business like to call natural selection. The people of Bionis are just waiting here for you to pick us off. You are sorely mistaken. This is where the game flexes their muscles and reminds you that there is absolutely no justification for why Pork Poke Pokemon ge Pokemon games look as shit as they do on the Switch. Because goddamn, the vistas are absolutely phenomenal in this game from what I've seen so far. And everything I see, everything, po the Pokemon games are the reason why people think the Switch isn't capable of handling complex graphics. Which it is, I mean, at a hampered frame rate, sure. And with loading screens that last this long, yes. But it 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 can do it. It can that you can make games look really good on Switch. It's just some developers just I bet I can use don't do it, to align one of the or they don't know how to do it. But it certainly ain't the system's fault. Oh, good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. Huh? 
An M69! <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Ah! Ah! Shulk! Ah! Ryan! It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. It was using the mechon armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and top it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Okay, is this the thing where you get oh. When the HP gauge is depleted, the, char the character will be incapacitated. Select an R with thing, press A to confirm. Use backslash to deal damage. Restore HP with light heal. Select two will be healed. Yeah. Is this the thing where you have to get behind it? You have to get it to draw its attention, and then you do a little bit of... this? You cannot use the same R repeatedly. Cooldown begins, cannot be used once the cooldown period is finished. You can use the R again, and some amount. Yeah. I know how cooldowns work. Uh-oh. Ow. I think that might not have worked as, as I intended it to. Hold on, let me heal, heal myself up real quick. Beat him up. Each character has a special art kind of talent art. Select talent art and press A to use it. Okay. Talent art. What is my talent art? Defeated enemies will drop treasure chests. I guess I won't find out this time. Iron Crabble Shell Small Shell. Seems useful, I think. You have to bear with me here. I'm still... Oh, not... The green ring stops you escaping. Defeat the monster. Make... Okay, maybe this... There's one of the... One of these enemies has a weakness where you need to get behind it. And then... That's how you... You do it. Uh, target. Uh, initiate the battle. Begin! Comment, com comment, com combat commence. Beware of aggro during... Nope, I wasn't done reading that. Aggro is the measure of a monster's feelings of animosity towards each party member. The more damage that a monster takes from a party member, the greater the aggro towards that member. If a member of the party becomes the target of a monster's wrath, an aggro ring will appear around them. Shulk's backslash deals more damage if he attacks... Ah, here it is. That's what I remember. One of these enemies had a thing where if you attack from behind, they deal more damage. Now, it would appear this is that one. This is called the Arts Bonus Effect. When you're in, when, when you're in a position to gain an Arts Bonus Effect, it will be helpfully highlighted for you as a chance art. Alrighty. When an aggro ring appears around Ren, Shulk has the chance to use backslash from the rear. If successful and the bonus effect condition is met, the damage value will display it in a thing. Okay, seems simple enough. So just wait for him to be... Wait for him to get pissed off. And then wait for this to be ready. And then do it now. Yeah, that, that, that sir is effective. Now can you keep being pissed off by him? I'll just play... Let's play ring around the common caterpillar. Oh, or you can kill him. I wanted to do another backslash. Lame. He stole, he stole the credit from me. Oh no, I wasn't done. Oh, why, did it, why is it progressing? What are we doing wandering up? I, I, why, why, why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? I, I, I'm not pressing A and it's just going on its own. I thought the A button was there to allow me to skip the dialogue, but it's just going. I wasn't, I didn't read that. Okay. That's probably a set. I need to check the settings after this. Side of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. But thanks to you, we got its shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. No, oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scared. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Follow the dotted path to advance the story. The path to the next main story objective is displayed on the minimap. You can switch to you can switch the minimap to full screen mode by pressing that. Check the story memo. Pressing ZR to display the guidance panel in the bottom right of the screen allows you to check the story memo. Press ZR when the guidance panel is open and close the story memo. Move the camera. Slide reset. Yeah, okay. So uh, can I? Man, give me a break. Jeez, I, I know how menus work. Sheesh, sheesh. 
Man, man, can I can I play the game? Thank you. Thank you for letting me play the game. All right, we need to change that immediately. Where, uh, game settings? No. What is casual mode? When this is enabled, the combat will be easier. Oh. I might turn that on at some point. Although, I will say, so far the combat is not quite as annoying. Because, I guess I should get some context. So, the reason why I stopped playing this game initially is because the combat system is a mixture... It's kind of a hybrid between turn-based and um, real-time, sort of, in that it's you have the menus that you that you cycle between that allow you to choose what move you do and things like that. But it's done in real time, and that you have to you act you actively have to be moving around the battlefield. And I'm fine with either or. I've played Kingdom Hearts, I've played Persona, and other RPGs of that caliber. Not many, but some. So I'm used to both real-time action RPGs and turn-based JRPGs kind of combat systems. This feels like it's attempting to fuse the two together into a hybrid. And I remember not liking that at all because I was, it just was, I don't know really what it was specifically. Just that the hybrid wasn't something I was used to and I very much did not drive with it immediately. And I saw, I, I foresaw myself getting annoyed very quickly if that, because it's simple now, right? It's just... Either you use the backslash, or you use the heal, and that's about it, but that's, it's still early game, so I, I was thinking more further down the line that eventually it was going to get to the point where there would be so many different moves you had at your advantage, so many arts, so many different characters you would be, you might have control of, that having to, having to juggle all that in the heat of combat when it's not turn-based and you don't have that time to sit and think and strategize and you have to be making those decisions in the heat of the moment, navigating the menus, I... Didn't I foresaw myself getting very frustrated by that very quickly, which which is weird, right? Because I have played games where you do need to be making split-second combat decisions constantly. Like Halo is one of my all-time favorite things, and you don't get a second to breathe in that game. It's constant, especially on the higher difficulties, which is what I play on, because anything below legendary is just too much of a slog for me nowadays. So when, on higher difficulties. The enemies don't give you a second to breathe. You constantly need to be thinking where to throw the grenade, where to move, where to take cover, who to prioritize. And all those sorts of things. I, I think it's just the, the fact that it was... But the, but then again, in Halo, it's also your one person controlling one character. Versus here, I I think... I don't know this for a fact. So far, we're only controlling one character. I don't know if you control more than one character, but I assumed that might be the case eventually, like other RPGs. I also assumed there'd be more... A lot more menu options to have at your disposal. It just... The point being, it was weird, it was different, and thinking down the line for how this how the mechanics would evolve over time i did not envision it going well for me at all so i i quit while i was ahead and didn't let it get to that point but i'm now that i'm actually playing it again i'm like well it's not that much of it's not that big of a deal so i don't know i i guess the, the point is it's this is going better than it went last january I don't really know why. Nothing changed. I mean, the game updated, but I don't think it updated anything major. So, yeah, I can't really quantify why this seems to be going a lot better than it did the first time around, but I don't think it really matters. But the, the other thing is that casual mode is here if I need it. Will I need it? I don't know, but I'm not going to hesitate in turning it on if I, get, if, I, if I feel myself becoming annoyed at the game's mechanics. I might just instinctively turn this on so that I don't have to worry about it. And that'll be that. Anyway, I came into the menu to try to fix the damn uh, text box thing. Oh, here it is. That would be, yeah, manual, please, and thank you. I did not, yeah, let's, did I turn that on? I don't know. That doesn't feel like something I would have turned on. But I also don't know if that was something that, would, that they would want to turn on by default. Weird. Well, whatever the case may be. It is, it is fixed now. Expert mode, limit XP gain, and adjust character levels? No thanks. I don't... I very much do not need expert mode. That's like the last thing that I need. Okay, let's fight some more enemies so that I don't... I don't particularly enjoy grinding, being perfectly honest with you. I don't... I don't like... Like when I played Persona 5, I went out of my way to not fight as many enemies as I possibly could. Both because for the sake of the LP, I just wanted to you know, stick to the main story beats, but also just because I 
Oh god, we're actually really low on health. Hold on. Um, but yeah, I heal you. You're in yellow health. Okay, I need to- let me actually pay attention to the health of my enemies. That'd be helpful, I think. Make sure we don't die horribly. Although we do- it looks like we do heal a bit between battles. So that's useful. Uh, stiff hair. Do I- Do I have a limited inventory or can I just hold everything? We'll find out eventually, but I'm assuming if we- if we do have a limited inventory... Did I not open this? Why is there still a beam of light around this thing? Oh, I didn't open this. That would be why. I thought I opened it. I guess. I guess that's. I guess I opened the first chest, but not the second chest. Anyway, yeah, I didn't really go out of my way to fight any enemies. I didn't absolutely have to. But then, when I played the game on my own time, I actually did because I, I I started replaying Persona Five last year. I didn't get very far because I other things popped up that took the majority of my time away from me. But I did start playing it, and when I actually took the time to to battle all the enemies I encountered and actually take time to level up my party members so I was of so I wasn't massively under level going into every single palace it ended up being a lot more enjoyable so but generally speaking I guess it's just the way the way I play games is I don't tend to like to do like I what I would do or what my instinct is telling me to do is just to run straight through the dotted line to get to the next big story beat which obviously that's not true for some games like in Halo Infinite or Super Mario Odyssey I was constantly getting distracted by every little thing and I it was I had to keep forcing myself to go back onto the main story because I kept just completely losing track of whatever the hell was what I was doing so it's not the taste for all games but also a game like Halo Infinite I have a little more investment in so that's a game that I like I actually want to spend time in that world whereas for newer games I don't really have a reason to get super invested yet and I'm just there to see to see what the main story has in store, just try to try to get to a point where it can hook me in, if that makes any sense. But since these enemies die so quickly, and it gives me a chance to kind of explain some of the stuff and talk to you guys a bit in the interim between story beats, I figure it makes sense to take the time to kill these guys so that it doesn't bite me. In the I granted they're only level one and two, but like so am I, so it makes sense to kill them early so I can tr continually try to level up my party members so that I, I never reach a point where I'm like oh no they're level 100 and I'm level 3 guess I'll die I should have read that the latest additions to your collection can be registered in the collectopedia fill in a row where collect all the items in the area to receive a reward access to collectopedia from the menu cool as I would imagine you would do for most things now then let's keep on I see a bunch of red dots and there's one right here See, now part of me is wondering if it even is worth, I imagine it is probably worth it to kill these guys, even if they are super low level. I imagine it's still worth it to kill them, just because any XP is good XP. Also, I'm not, I'm not wasting any of my, my super arcs, even though they do regen for relatively quickly. I still don't want to burn them on these guys, I want to I save them for any, any high level enemies that may pop up. Which I don't know if they will. Everything here seems to be of equally- Oh wait, what is this? Attack from the side to lower physical defense. Here, I'll, I'll use this one since it's new. That seemed to work out nicely, kind of. Alright. Well, that, I don't know why I did that. I wasn't behind him. I wasn't behind him. I don't know why I used the backslash there. Okay, maybe we don't kill all of them. Maybe there's a- Maybe there's a bit too many enemies here for us to kill literally all of them. Maybe- Maybe that's a- bit of overkill but we'll, we'll kill a few more I just don't I don't I don't want to repeat a Persona 5 where I just because I was in such a mad rush to get to the end of the game I ended up blitzing through sections that I really should have taken the time to slow down and smell the roses and not skip any enemies I possibly could I do not want to do a repeat of that and there shouldn't really be a need to this time because for that game I put a limit on myself to get Persona 5 done by the end of the year which was doable, and I proved that it was doable, but it did probably come at the- well, not probably, it definitely came at the cost of my- the quality of my experience playing that game. Also, we're doing good on health, so I don't really need to heal anyone just yet. And I don't know how effective my stabs would have been against a flying enemy. But, this game, we're starting at the beginning of January. It's January 2nd, the day this is going up, so we have- we have approximately zero time limits, actually. We have all the time in the world to stop and smell the roses, and can I aggro on him? Aggro on him, so that I can do a little bit of this. Okay, we'll do one more. One more, 
One more battle and then we'll then we'll run straight to the next story objective. Oh my god, he oh he rolled me. He he just had to roll me. Alright. I think I'm behind you. No, no, no. I don't want to change targets. I did not intend to change targets there. That was a mistake. That was not what I intended to do. Alright, I don't I don't think I wanna kill all of them. They all die very easily. So I'm I think my I might actually go brain dead if I kill them all because I'll just my I'll, my mind will just be numbed beyond the point of repair. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're, they're all level one and two. I don't I don't think you're meant to kill all of them. I I don't I feel like you're probably supposed to I mean you I mean it like it it's still it probably is the smart thing to do to kill them all. But like I don't really want to do that. I don't want to be here all day is the thing. Surely, I think I'll be all right. I don't- I don't think I'm gonna screw over my gameplay permanently if I don't kill all the little forest critters. Also, they seem harmless. They're not the da they're not dangerous robots. They're just harmless little forest creatures. They don't attack us if we don't attack them, so leave them alone. Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Uh, sure. Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. All right. See you later. Let's pretend for a second that I know where that is. Ooh. Change party and equipment. Battle members, reserve, guests. So a primary party and a backup party, I guess. Do I have party members to choose from? It would appear that I do not. I didn't think so. But I guess just let me know that it's there. Visiting the shops. Welcome, you can buy and sell anything here. Ooh, anything? Even the, the hair that we got from that random dude in the forest? Every shopkeeper has a has an umbrella above their head or a tent or whatever that is. Make money by defeating monsters and selling your loot to a shop. Press A to talk to anyone with an exclamation mark above their head. Complete the quests they give to receive money, XP, or items. Press Y to trade with named individuals. Some of them will gladly take an item you don't need in exchange for a rare item. The story will progress even if you don't do any trading or complete any quests. However, using these features may give you an advantage in the game. By that, I'm assuming they definitely will give you an advantage in the game, but we're still very early on, so I think it's probably in my best interest to just... To, to go do... to stick to the main stuff so I can get a better understanding of what's happening. And then, we will come back and we will... we'll do... if I feel like it will do side stuff later. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing lovely. You know, that big lump of metal sticking out of the western cliff? There are all kinds of machines in there that we could never make, but you already knew that. Did I? I guess I did. Actually, you know what? Let me make a slight amendment to that. We'll we'll talk to people so we can start the quests, even if we have no intents on actually completing them. We'll start them so we can get them. My niece asked me to get her something cute. I just wish I was better at finding stuff like that. Will you help me? A resident wants to find something cute for his niece. Collect some collectibles. Collect two rabbit dials in Colony 9. Sure. We'll we'll accept them. So that because I assume it is it's a thing where this is our big hub world, and then we go out into the world and we complete main story objectives and we go to we adventure to brand new locations. So then we then we have the ability to do the things which will complete the side quest. So we'll, we'll we'll get them. We'll unlock them here, and then we'll come back later. After we've explored the world and hopefully we'll have completed them. Dunban's house. Ooh, what are you? A wedding ring. Sure. Just leave a wedding ring lying around. That's not important for anyone. Hi there. If you're short of cash, why not do a few quests? Particularly ones where you have to defeat monsters or collect stuff. That's that's what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the quests. Also a day-night cycle, it would seem, which I mean, I can surmise that because. On the, even on the main menu, it was changing from day to evening to night, which is neat. What the hell are you? Uh, I think you're in the wrong IP. I think you made a wrong turn on your way to DreamWorks' Trolls movies. Or maybe Easter came early this year, I don't know. Point is, I don't want anything to do with you. Bye-bye. See you later. Verdant blue on the beach near anti-air battery one. I can't stand the sight of it. Nasty thing with those spiky horn bits. You'll take care of it, won't you? I guess. You've been asked to eliminate a gigantic monster because it looks hard to defeat. Lovely. 
I am the perfect person to do that. Good, I hope it doesn't come too close to the anti-air battery itself. I feel ill just thinking about it. Never mind looking at it. I want to make some kid-sized armor for my son. Problem is I don't have enough small scales. Mind helping me out? Can I just take unlimited quests? Because if so, then I'll just take all of them. Like, why not? I see absolutely no potential downsides in this plan. I think that's everything in this area. So now let's go... Where was I going in the first place? This way, I think? I mean, yeah, because this is where the yellow dot... The dotted line is. And I foresee... I, I sense more quests. I see I see one hiding around here in the corner. Hello? Would you like to give me a quest? Oh, no. You're... Oh, wait. Probably inside. Can I go inside? I cannot go inside. All right. I guess I'll, I'll get you later. I'll leave you alone for now. I will, I will seek out my quests elsewhere. I see exclamation points around these par- Oh. Oh. My controller vibrated because I got a- I reached a new landmark. Nighttime. What does that mean? Does that mean bad things happen? Nighttime usually means bad things happen. I don't like it when bad things happen. Like monsters attacking, for instance. Hmm. Well. Uh. I guess- Looks like all the townspeople are starting to go away, kind of? Feels less, well, maybe this area is just less populated, but there seem to be less townspeople there than there were towards the front of the town. Either way, I think we have enough quests for a while, so we'll keep, we'll keep our, our quests. I, you might, I'm pretty sure you can just take unlimited quests, or if there is a limit, I haven't come close to meeting it yet. So now we'll just keep on following the yellow dotted line. Discovering landmarks, the colony features landmarks. Find all the landmarks and locations in the area to open up the complete area map. Fortress entrance. What the hell are you playing at? Uh-oh. The colonel's gonna explode. Gonna? He says if he hasn't already. Crashing the mobile artillery into a house. How long have you been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform! Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots! Move it! Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you! And you better not stop until your biceps explode! Colonel, we can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in re- Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers. Okay, that might be a bit- I mean, yeah, you don't crash the damn thing into the wall, but like, that's a stretch too far, my friend. And, I guess we're just- we're just cool with it. We're just gonna chill. Just chill, let the assault happen, it's all- it's all good. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Alright. A, a new quest is calling me. The Weapon Development Lab. What are we coming here for? We're coming here to use the- to convert the- the shell into into armor or something, I think. Ooh. Hello, beautiful. All right, Shulk. How are you? Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now, then. Well... Anyone can activate it. The problem is... Controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If 
anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mekon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... unlock the Monado's power. Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most severely injured! Come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Shulk. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. Did I not do that all day long? I feel like I spent the whole day running around the grasslands area just slaughtering innocent forest creatures for XP. I mean, unless he means right. by me uh, rummaging around the scrapyard, he's referring to what I did today, but like that, I don't know, that seemed pretty out in the open. That seemed like pretty fresh air. It's, I don't know. Be a shame if someone would have grabbed that Keyblade. Or Monado. It's called the Monado. But it reminds me of the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. So I want to call it the, 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 the Keyblade. What kind of absolute psychopath wears their shoes in the bed? Are you awake yet? Actually, I, I guess a lot of people in media do that. <sighs> Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. No, oh, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dumban, don't say that. The Mechan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dumban, thanks. Uh, 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 
I... I'm not finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. Oh, interesting. Fiora has made something special for Shulk. Take it to him before it gets cold. Okay. So we do control different characters because now we're playing as Fiora instead of Shulk. So I assume it's some by that that we will be able to control multiple characters in combat. But I think we'll leave things off here for right now. Uh, summary after the first episode is that I still wouldn't say this game has hooked me, but again, it's still very early on, and the the stipulation was give it till the end of chapter two to see if it hooks you. And I imagine we're a long way away from the end of chapter two, so story-wise, I'm still not still not really into it. But and I still wouldn't say I particularly love the gameplay either. But it didn't turn me off like it did last year, which is a step in the right direction, I think. So uh, yeah. We'll see what happens tomorrow. That'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Goodbye.